Welcome. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Salesforce outbound messages with Zapier. My name is Brian Hayes, and this is Automation of the Week. Every Tuesday, we'll show you how to build, step-by-step, -step, a different automation that'll help you improve your business. And today, we're talking about outbound messages. So you're probably familiar with Zapier. It's a great tool that can connect different softwares together to help you automate different systems. And there are a couple ways that Zapier can integrate into Salesforce. So Zapier can write to Salesforce, it can create new records, but it can also read data from Salesforce. And you can use whatever data that's being read from Salesforce to then run some other system and some other software, whether it's accounting software or spreadsheet software, et cetera. There's lots of options. But what I wanna talk about specifically are outbound messages. So if you're in Zapier here and you go to create a new Zap and you want Salesforce to be the trigger, we've got this option to either have the trigger be an outbound message or have it be a new record or an updated field on a record or an updated record. But you'll notice that the outbound message option here is different from the other three. It says instant on the right. Not surprisingly, those other three triggers are not instant triggers, they're polling triggers. So every few minutes or so, Zapier is going to look for a change but there might be a gap between when that change happened, that record was updated in Salesforce, and when the rest of the Zap actually runs. So if you want your automation to run immediately after there's an update in Salesforce, you're gonna have to use the outbound message trigger in order to get that instant trigger within Zapier. So let me show you how to set that up. I'm gonna select new outbound message here in Zapier and click continue. Then you'll select your Salesforce account. If you have more than one, choose the appropriate one. And then when you come to the test part of this setup, it'll show you what the webhook URL is. So this is the destination of the outbound message that we're about to create in Salesforce. Go ahead and copy that URL. We're gonna use it in just a minute. And then go into Salesforce. In the Salesforce setup, under Quick Find, you can search for outbound message and you'll find it here underneath Workflow Actions. Go and choose outbound messages, and then we can create a new one. I'm gonna click new outbound message here. And the first thing you have to select is what object you wanna send. What an outbound message is doing is it's a way for one computer system to communicate with another computer system, and it's gonna send some data in that message. The data that it's gonna send is tied to a specific object, and it'll be particular fields on that object that you wanna send. So let's say, for example, that whenever a new lead is created in Salesforce, you want that lead data to push to a marketing tool outside of Salesforce. Let's say this marketing tool doesn't integrate with Salesforce directly, but perhaps it integrates with Zapier. And if you want that marketing tool to send an email or take an action as soon as possible, we'll certainly want to use an outbound message to try and limit the time between the lead being created and whenever that action happens in the other system. So let's choose lead here but obviously you could choose any object in your system and then click next and give the outbound message a name. I'm gonna call this new lead info. And then right here, you could add a description and underneath that, it says endpoint URL. That's the URL that we got from Zapier in that third step there where it said test. So I'm just pasting that URL in. You have to choose a user as the person who's sending the message. So I'm just gonna choose myself, David Rose. And then beneath that, we can also choose what fields we wanna send along in that message. I certainly want first name, last name, and email. You can, of course, choose any other fields that you'd like to send over to Zapier. Then click Save. We have successfully created our outbound message, but we don't have anything that's triggering it to send. We just have the recipe for the message, essentially what the message is gonna be, but don't know when it's gonna send. What we need to do now is create a flow to send the message. Previously, you can only do this with workflow rules, but it's an older automation tool and it's not recommended that you use that moving forward. So instead, click on flow and I'm gonna create a new flow here. This will be pretty simple. It'll be a record triggered flow and we want it to send the outbound message whenever a lead is created. So I'm gonna choose the object as the lead and I'm gonna leave this as when a lead is created. I don't have any conditions in this case, but you will likely change these starting requirements depending on what your business needs are. Maybe it's when an opportunity is updated to be closed one, or maybe when an opportunity is updated to be closed lost, you want to send them to a different tool for remarketing, et cetera. But in our case, it's when a lead is created with no additional conditions. So we've got our trigger. 
Then hit the plus sign and go ahead and choose the action option here. There's plenty of actions to choose from. I'm gonna scroll down on the left-hand side and select outbound message. And then under actions are two outbound messages that I have in this org show up. The one that we just created called new lead info is here. I'm gonna choose that outbound message and give it a simple label. Send lead data to Zapier. Click done, hit save and give it a name. I'll call this one lead dash send lead data to Zapier on creation. Then click save. I'm gonna click activate and now we can test it. Back in Salesforce, let's create a lead and see if our outbound message gets sent. I'll create a new lead here, Mr. Test, with an email of test at test.com. Looks like I've got a validation rule turned on here. I'm gonna add a phone number too. That created our lead, so that should send our outbound message. If we come back to Zapier here, click the blue button that says test trigger. There we go, it found our outbound message. And you can see what the data was from that message. It has the ID of the notification, and it also has the ID of the record, as well as the data points that we sent along. In the outbound message settings, we chose it to send the email address, the first name, and the last name. You can see those fields and that data is available here. Now we can hit continue, and you can choose any other sort of action within Zapier to continue your automation. But the important thing is, as soon as that lead is created in Salesforce, it's gonna send that outbound message it's instantly gonna be received from Zapier and you can have other automations follow on from there without having to wait for Zapier to poll and check if there's been an update within Salesforce. Hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please hit like and click subscribe for more. Also consider taking one of our courses at rotive.academy.io. Thanks for watching.